ever just catch yourself somewhere else while you're, you know, supposed to be enjoying something. Totally. Like you're holding your phone, but are you really here? Yeah, like you're not really there. Yeah, and that's what we're diving into today, folks. Mindfulness, why it matters, how to, you know, maybe do it a little better, all that good stuff. And joining me, as always, is expert name. Who knows a thing or two about this? It's great to be here. Always love a good deep dive. Right. So one of the things I was reading this week that really struck me was this idea of like mindless eating. Have you ever gotten to the bottom of like a pint of ice cream? Oh, okay. And you're like, wait a minute, did I even taste that? They're just like, where did it go? Exactly. Our minds are like off on vacation, but our bodies are still here doing the dishes. It's that autopilot mode, right? And mindfulness is about recognizing when we're there and gently hitting the brakes. So not about like emptying our minds completely because that sounds honestly impossible. Impossible and not really the goal. It's more about noticing those thoughts, those feelings without letting them carry us away. Like, oh, there's anxiety, interesting. Not judging, just observing. Okay, so less fighting the current, more like learning to surf. Exactly. And the benefits, those are pretty awesome. You know, do stress better focus. I was just going to say, I feel like when I do remember to be present, even just for like five minutes in the morning, my whole day feels calmer, you know? Right. It's like a ripple effect. And there's actual science behind this. Mindfulness can actually change the structure of our brains, increasing gray matter in areas related to attention and emotional regulation. So it's like a workout, but for our minds. Exactly. But okay, real talk for a sec. Does this mean no more multitasking? Because I gotta say, sometimes I need a little music to get through these spreadsheets. Right, it's not about becoming some kind of productivity machine. It's about recognizing when our attention is being pulled in too many directions. Mm. Sometimes multitasking works, but other times, like when you're with loved ones or really need to focus, being present makes all the difference. You're totally right. Like one of the things, another one of the things I was reading that just really hit me was this question. What amazing thing am I missing out on by not being here in this moment? That's such a good question to ask yourself. Right, because even in like the most ordinary stuff, there's always something to appreciate if we just open our senses. Speaking of which, have you had any like, aha uh -huh moments when you were really present? Oh, absolutely. The other day I was on a walk and I was doing my usual thing, to-do list running through my head, and then I stopped, like really focused on the feeling of the air, the sound of the leaves crunching, and I saw this incredible spider web, all covered in dew, sparkling in the sunlight. It was so simple, but so beautiful. See, and I bet most of us have had those moments. We just maybe haven't labeled them as like mindfulness moments. Exactly, we're so used to being in our heads that we forget to really see, hear, feel the world around us. So how do we do that? How do we get better at this whole mindfulness thing? Well, the good news is it's a practice. Like any skill, it gets easier with time. Like hitting the gym, but for our minds. I'm into it. Exactly. And the more we practice, the more we start to notice those little moments of awe and wonder in our everyday lives. So here's a little challenge for everyone listening. Next time you're doing something you enjoy, even if it's just eating a piece of fruit, put away your phone, quiet your mind, and really savor it. You might be surprised by what you discover. Love it. Thanks for joining me for this deep dive. Always a pleasure. <laughs>